one of the highest paying savings accounts in the US and why you might consider switching. Today, I'm going to summarize the pros and cons of Marcus by Goldman Sachs, one of the more popular online banks on the list. Hi, my name is Dee and welcome to the Money Growth Academy, where we demystify the stock market, simplify investing, and multiply your opportunities for financial success. And if you're not earning at least a minimum of 2% rate of return on your savings account, you gotta ask yourself why not. Here are at least five good reasons to save your money in a savings account. Number one, to save for a 90-day emergency fund. Number two, save for a car. Number three, event savings like vacation or Christmas. And number four, waiting for an, an investment opportunity. And number five, an annual gift budget to cover birthdays, weddings, births, and anniversaries. Now here are four benefits of a savings account. Number one, it provides a higher level of liquidity than, a stock, than the stock market. Number two, it's ideal for planning short-term savings. And number three, it eliminates the risk of chasing higher rates at the expense of exposure to higher risk. And number four, the annual percentage yield earned is typically higher than on a checking account. You work hard for your money. Shouldn't your money work just as hard for you? Saving your money in a local low interest paying savings account is like sending your money on vacation while you work. I found that most people don't know that they actually could be earning more money on their savings accounts. So this is what's changed in the last year that has been, has at least motivated some banks to pay a higher rate of return on their savings accounts than in the past. I'll try to explain this without getting too deep in the weeds, but I think it's important you have a basis of understanding. It's a bit oversimplified, but works well for what we're talking about here. After 2008, banks essentially received free money from the feds. It was called QE or quantitative easing. That meant banks had to pay very little if any interest on the money they borrowed from the central banks. And because of that, well, they didn't need as many depositor dollars because the central bank money was cheaper. So consequently, they offered depositors very little in the way of rate of return on deposits. They offered, and some still are offering low rates like one-tenth of a percent, two-tenths or three-tenths of a percent of rate of return. And, you know, when you factor in the low rates with the inflation, you actually wind up paying the bank to store your money. As you recall, in 2018, the feds actually raised rates a couple of times. So rates for auto loans, home mortgages, and HELOCs, they all went up. And because of the rate increase by the feds, the banks now had to pay a higher rate of interest for the funds that they received from the central banks. These same banks, not wanting to pay the higher central bank rates, needed to attract more depositors, which some did by offering more aggressive yields known as APY. So the annual percentage yield, simply meaning the rate of return on the savings deposit. To be more competitive, several banks stripped down essential depositor services and moved a part of their operation online. This is allowed online banks to reduce operational costs, offer better rates on savings accounts, and attract more depositors. As a result, several of these online banks have emerged over the last couple of years, but few people know about them. In our video, Highest Paying Savings Accounts 2019, we actually compare seven online savings accounts and give you a brief summary of each. But today, I'm going to summarize the pros and cons of Marcus by Goldman Sachs, one of the more popular online banks on the list. So a little bit about Marcus Goldman Sachs. Number one, it's an American multinational investment bank and financial services company. It's headquartered in New York City. It's founded way back in 1869. It's one of the largest investment banking enterprises in the entire world. So, in, and they actually own Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Now, the pros and cons of a Marcus by Goldman Sachs high yield savings account. Well, well, we'll start with the pros first. It's FDI insured up to about 250,000 if you're an individual, if it's a joint account, 250,000 per person. It pays two and a quarter percent on their high yield online savings account. Uh, to get a sense of the impact a higher yield savings account can have on your financial plan. Let's say you just deposited $100 every month for 12 months in Bank A, which pays an annual percentage yield of a tenth of a, of a percent, and Bank B, which pays an APY of two and a quarter percent. So in Bank A, you would have $1 initial deposit in, right? And just to open the account, $100 per month deposited for 12 months, as we discussed, a tenth of a percent annual percentage yield that would grow to $1,201.55. And bank B, you had the $1 initial investment to open the account, $100 per month deposit for 12 months. You had two and a quarter percent annual percentage yield, 
that'd grow to $1,213.48 so by the end of 12 months. So you earned an additional $12.48 for the year. Remember, the larger the savings the balance, the balance, the larger the actual difference would have been. So this was just a simple example. Use the Marcus Goldman Sachs calculator that they have online and run your various scenarios for that. I know, you could say, well, D, that's not much of a difference, and I wouldn't disagree with you, right? Think about it. If $12 dropped out of your pocket on the way to walk into the store, would you turn around and pick it up? Yeah, most likely you will. So it does make some difference. And of course, the larger the sum, the more difference it makes uh, in the example. So which interest-bearing savings account do you think is better, bank A or bank B? Now, this doesn't seem like a complicated decision, but before you answer that, let me give you a few more details about Marcus by Goldman Sachs. You have, with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, you have a 24-hour access to your money. There are no fees, no minimum deposit to open the savings account. And it actually has a US-based contact center, which I love, um, and they're very responsive. You start to earn interest on the business day they receive your deposit. This means that interest from your account is calculated every day on 365 days a year or 366 on leap year. Now, here are some cons or downsides depending on you know, how you wanna look at it. There are no check writing privileges with a Marcus account. There's no debit card access. You get a maximum of six ACH withdrawals uh, per month. And uh, ACH is just electronic funds transfer. So you get it. Uh, this is pretty much the law. So I don't really count this really as against them, right? Because it's the law. Anyway, withdrawals will take between one to three days to get to you. So you want to make sure you plan ahead when you need that money. Remember, this is a savings account. So if you need more than six withdrawals a month, out of your savings account, well, you might want to rethink it. You might just want to stick with a checking account. They don't have a mobile app, but they did just buy Clarity Money in April 2018, which is a very popular free mobile app that helps consumers manage their personal finances. Kind of think Mint Software as a comparison if you've ever used Mint Financial Software before. There may be something in the works in the future. We'll let you know if we find out anything new about that. Anyway. You must fund your account within 60 days of the account opening or they close the account. To fund the account just simply means you need to put at least $1 in the account in 60 days or they will close the account. Marcus gives you four ways you can add money to your online savings account. Number one, you can transfer funds between your Marcus savings account and your linked external bank account. Number two, you can make direct deposit payments. You can deposit either all or part of your payroll or social security check into your online savings account. And I really love the direct deposit payment option really because direct deposit allows you to move your savings efforts from problematic to automatic. You can schedule regular and consistently weekly, bi-weekly or monthly deposits directly into, from your paycheck into your online savings account. For direct deposit from your payroll check, simply provide your employer with a Goldman Sachs Bank USA routing transit number and your online savings account number to enable your employer to deposit funds directly into your Marcus savings account. You'll want to verify the Goldman Sachs Bank USA routing transit number by clicking on the FAQ link at the bottom of their homepage. And once there, scroll down and look for online savings account FAQs, fund my online savings account or make deposits. Uh, to direct deposit your social security benefits, you would go to www.ssa. Gov to schedule your direct deposits. Here's a quick demonstration of how to set that up. So once on the website, click menu near the top of the screen, then click the link located on the left side of the screen, online services and scroll down. Once on the online services page, scroll down and under the manage your account icon, simply click set up your set up or change direct deposit link. Once on the direct deposit page, you will need to click the sign in button, if you've already have an account or if you don't have an account, you'll need to create one by clicking create your account button. Now be sure to review the instructions thoroughly and to follow them to set up your direct deposit. The other two ways to add money to your Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account are, well, you can send a check by US mail. Please don't send cash. They ask you not to do that. You also need to make the check payable in your name. So make sure your name is, uh, is the same as on your account. 
You also need to endorse the back of any check with the words for deposit only and include your online savings account, account number. Also, you can send a domestic wire transfer from another bank. You'll need to provide Goldman Sachs Bank USA routing transit number with that and your account number. And you can check all these in that FAQ uh, online at Marcus by Goldman Sachs. So Marcus by Goldman Sachs does not charge service. Uh, there, there is no service charge or transaction fees for transfer or from Marcus savings accounts. However, your external bank or third party might actually charge you for that. There's an outgoing transfer limit of $125,000 per transfer when the transfer is initiated online. If you need to withdraw more than $125,000, uh, you'll have to actually call Goldman's for that. A high yield online savings account is perfect for saving for your 90 day emergency fund or number two, save for a car or for vacation or Christmas, waiting for an investment opportunity and to get an annual gift budget together to cover birthdays, weddings and anniversaries and all that stuff. So savings account provide more liquidity than a CD. That's a certificate of deposit, which locks your savings up for as little as three months to multiple years. A CD is sometimes referred to as a certificate of depreciation because they typically pay very little interest and what interest is paid gets eaten up by inflation. Remember, accumulating wealth is not about how much you make. It's about how much more you keep and where you keep it. So if you're not earning at least 2% on your savings account, it's no longer a question of why, but when. Here's a fact. If your savings account is paying you less than 2%, it's time for a new bank account. Look, there's millions of Americans today that are struggling to save money every day. And the savings that they are saving, they're only earning a tenth of a percent on those savings. So what if I told you you could earn 2% on your savings? 